Hi children, happy Sabbath. It's me, Travis, with Downey Seventh-day Adventist Church. I hope you are all doing well. The weather is a little cooler outside, so I hope you have all been enjoying that and having those extra blankets at night when it gets cold. I know I've been doing that. I brought a little friend with me today. Her name is Layla, and she's gonna be with me for the next couple of months. Say hi, Layla. Hello. And uh, she's gonna be with me for the next couple months, and you know, hanging out with her reminded me of a story. And this story is about a young girl named Jacqueline. And Jacqueline always wanted a dog. And so one day she convinced her parents to get a dog at the pound. And so they went over there and they picked out this beautiful dog. And they brought it home. And Jacqueline was in for a big surprise because the dog was not friendly. She would try to go up to touch it and it growled. And she said, Mom, why is the dog growling at me? And the mother said, Jacqueline, the dog doesn't know you. You need to build a relationship with it. And she said, does that mean the dog doesn't like me? And the mother says, no, Jacqueline, it's just the dog doesn't know you. So once you build that friendship, the dog might come around and stop growling. And so day by day, Jacqueline goes and she helps with the chores with the dog and gives it some water and food. And eventually, the dog stops growling at her. So now, when she walks up to the dog, the dog runs away. Instead of growling, now the dog is just running to the other side of the room from her. Jacqueline said, Mom, Mom, why is the dog afraid of me? And the mother tells Jacqueline, she says, Jacqueline, you see, now that you guys are friends, you got to continue building that relationship with the dog. And, you know, who knows how the dog was treated previously, but, you know, sometimes there's, there might be things in the dog that needs to be healed. Maybe the dog doesn't had bad owners before and he's not used to the love, right? You ever seen an animal like that? Maybe they look mean at first, but as you get to know them, they kind of come around and they're a lot nicer and playful with you. I know she was. Little Layla here growled at me the first time I met her, but now she loves me. And so back to the story, Jacqueline says, okay, mom, I'll continue being friends with the dog. And so as the months passed, Jacqueline noticed as she continued to play with the dog, take it for walks, take it to the dog parks, that the dog was changing. The dog was no longer afraid of everything. The dog was no longer mean to everyone. The dog was nice. And the dog was playful now. And you could tell that the dog trusted Jacqueline because now the dog would come into Jacqueline's arms when she sat down and jump on her lap and lick her face and lick her fingers. And so Jacqueline was a very, very happy child. And this reminds me of our relationship with God. Do you know why it reminds me of that, children? Well, that's because sometimes the way we have a relationship with our pets is almost the same way our relationship with God is, right? Pretend we are the dogs, right? And God is our owner, right? God owns us, right? Because he created us. And so... Sometimes when we don't know who God is, we can be afraid of God. Or maybe we can be mean, right? Just like the dog. Sometimes we are, we're the mean ones to God. But in reality, we just have to build that relationship, right? So how do we build a relationship with God? We know how to build a relationship with pets, right? You spend time with them. You feed them. You love them, you hold them, you pet them. But how do we build a relationship with God? We can pray to God, right? We want to talk with God. 
we can read his word, right? The Bible, we can study that to get to know God more. We can trust God, right? In moments where we're afraid, we can trust God. Maybe we don't understand what's happening or what's going on, but we know God is there. Because as we learn to know God, we learn about who God is and God is love and he's faithful and he will never give up on you. So remember children, the next time you're with your pets or you see a dog, remind yourself about your relationship with God. Because just like this little Layla right here, you know, God always loves us. And you know, sometimes that love takes time to build. But once that love is created and that bond is formed, it's almost impossible to take that away. So I pray you guys all do well. Be safe, stay warm, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.